Welcome to the NC Spin After Spin. Additional comments from our panelists just available on our website. John Hood, what do you wish you had said on the last show, but you didn't? Let's talk a little bit more about vaccine development. Uh, my friend Scott Lincecum, who is based in North Carolina here, but actually works for the Cato Institute, he recently did a wonderful analysis illustrating the importance of uh, openness and uh, international cooperation in the development of vaccines. More to the point, vaccine development for COVID involved companies in multiple countries working together. It involved capital flows across borders. It involved people who immigrated from one country to another, sometimes to the United States, sometimes to Great Britain, from other countries. It involved openness, an open economy. Now, there's been concern that COVID itself might reinforce some pre-existing sort of populism trends right. towards being concerned about uh, people traveling across borders and people working across borders and international trade and so forth. And I don't think in the long run that's true. I think what this will demonstrate is that to the extent that the world has become a true diversified cross-border market for for capital, for ideas, and for labor, that is making us all better off over time. It is very unlikely we would have generated these sort of unbelievably rapid vaccines yeah, and, uh, without uh, openness, without a, a free market for goods, for ideas, and for people. And one of the things that, that has not gotten a great deal of publicity yet is that this research for, on coronaviruses actually started 17 years ago. That's right. I mean, this isn't something that just got rushed through the pipeline. There's scientists that have been working uh, on this for 17 years, which helped, by the way. They were able to use the research that had been done, and it helped speed up the development of these vaccines. As, as did changes in regulatory policy exactly. that made it faster. And I think that that's something we probably should have done years ago. It, it, no question about it. But they were all great things. And, and to that extent, the Trump administration does deserve credit for uh, what happened here with this vaccine. Well, thanks for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.